What's going on everybody? It's your dating coach Elliot Scott and as you can see by the title below how to get a man to open up emotionally. How to get him to eventually, eventually of course because you know it's going to take a process as you're going to see. Uh, how to get him to eventually open up to you and tell you how he feels or at least go or uh, do it through actions right because again I would I, and I'm saying that because a lot of men uh, nowadays is it's just so it's a social thing they just don't like to open up and if they do they like it behind closed doors where it's between you and him and he, you know because he feels very vulnerable but I'm gonna tell you how to make him do it either way okay this worked on me this is something I hear a lot of guys talk about It's something I've read about so I'm pretty sure it's accurate again it worked on me and I didn't even know it okay so with that being said if you can please subscribe just click the red button below also in my uh, description is my free ebook 254 pages absolutely free talks about everything we talk about in my videos and it's my uh, my coaching sessions are down there email and phone I love to hear from you guys uh, I love my phone sessions so much they're really fun but jumping right into it I'm going to tell you what you shouldn't do okay a lot of women are asking guys to open up to do this to do that and there's a problem with that when you're asking him to do it it you know it's not his natural way of doing things like guys just aren't naturally uh, you know communicators they don't naturally open up and communicate and bond through talking like women do now there's some guys who just like to talk and you know they're emotional wreck and they'll cling on to you like a you know a fucking tick on you know whatever a dog or hair you know I'll give you a bad analogy there a bad uh whatever but for the most part that's just not how men are and to tell him to act like a just to you know switch like that especially with something emotional to switch off like that and act like this and you know, just say it, you know just do this just just tell me how you feel just this that that's just not how we are okay so you can't really tell a man to switch like you know turn on the switch like that and act like something he's not it just isn't how it works and when you pressure him and you push him into doing it it kind of makes him feel like uh, he's not providing he's not satisfied like he's doing something wrong and then when you keep on pushing it feels like a chore it feels like he's feel he's he feels like he's obligated to do it and he starts to lose attraction so what's the best way to do it I'm gonna say there's one or two things and I say one or two because they might intertwine I don't know how I'm gonna say it First off, I would say you need to give him space. If you give him space, his guard will drop, okay? And actually, it's going to be one thing because I'm going to kind of intertwine these. When you back up, then he lets his guard down. He has no reason to put his guard up. And the reason he, you know, he puts his guard up and he doesn't say a lot of things is because when you pressure him, he feels like you have emotional dependency on him. And a guy doesn't want to say, I love you, or I really like you, or this, or that, because he knows you're going to hang on those words. Especially, again, because you're when you're not giving a guy space and you're moving forward like that, there's a reason you're doing it. Like I always say in all my videos, guys are filling the voids in with their logic mind, right? Like he's filling in the gaps. So he's going to be like, well, the reason she's like this is because dot, dot, dot. Or, you know, she's acting like, or she's pushing this because she wants to know dot, dot, dot. And the only reason you would want to know those kind of things is because you're seeking validation. That's the only reason you want. Now, that's not a bad thing. I would want to know how people feel too, right? I want to know how, you know, my my girl feels or someone I'm, how, you know, I'm talking to, I want to know how they feel about them. But the wrong way of doing it, just think about it, it just doesn't feel natural if you if you go up to someone and say, tell me how you feel. You, like, Doesn't that sound weird right now, just asking for it, or just trying to get a guy to open up like that? You, it just If he's not going to say it, he's not going to say it. So what you have to do is back up, he will let his guard down. And by backing up, you're showing him that he does not have, you do not have that emotional dependency on him. Like you're not looking for him, or you're not looking to him for happiness. You're not looking for him or to him for validation. You're not looking for him for approval. Okay, you don't care. You're doing your own thing, but at the same time, if you back up 
and you let he lets his guard down, he is more likely to tell you these things because you're not going to hold. He has the idea that you're going to hold on to something he says and you're going to act differently. And again, those are red flags in his eyes. He's going to feel like, uh oh, you know, if I told her she, I loved her, now she's going to now she's going to be really clingy. She's going to act different, or you know, that's why guys pull away after sex because a lot of times after sex, a girl does act different, and the guy naturally wants to pull away. Then the girl chases, not knowing what's going on. Uh, she's thinking, "Oh, guy, this guy's gonna, you know, you know, she might have a complex. This guy's gonna hit and quit, and he's pulling away now. So I gotta reach out, reach out, reach out." And again, it pull, this miscommunication. This is the same thing. If you back up, he'll let his guard down, okay? Because a lot of the time, when you're pressuring him and you're in his face like this, he feels like you have an emotional dependency on him. Like you, you have to hear what he has to say, and it's a big turnoff to him. So to sum it all up. What you have to do is, boom, back away. And when I say back away, I don't mean like space. I mean just don't bring it up. Like don't ask him for it, right? Don't seek his approval. I'm not saying I'm not saying my original like give him space, pull away, don't talk to him, that kind of thing. I'm talking in terms of just don't ask for it. Just don't uh, try to get an answer out of him. Just let him have his space. He'll let his guard down because he has no reason to have it up, and then over time he will start letting it out because he has no reason to uh, hide it, he has no reason to hold it, especially when you're getting closer and you're behind closed doors, he will open up to you over time. But a lot of women like to pressure him and then when you do that, he feels like you have an emotional dependency on him. Like, Because a lot of women do date people to fill voids, right? They just want to be in a relationship. They think if I'm in a relationship, I'm going to be happy. If I have this guy, I'm going to be happy. And that's not how it works. And guys know that. So, you know, he feels like, you know, if he tells you something, you're going to feel something or you're going to hold on to that and he's never going to hear the end of it or you're going to act differently. So with that being said, ladies, give the guy some space. Don't bring it up. Just let uh, attraction unflow naturally. And or flow naturally and he will open up with that being said. I love you. Take care. Peace